my Malay. Good evening. I just leave my little nine-year-old daughter doing homework. I say, girl, do your homework and go to bed. I have to go to Brazil. She said, Daddy, where you going? Airport? I said, no. I'm going up in a place where the UNC is strong and has soldiers who will vote for Kamala Pazad Bissetta to be the next Prime Minister. Every time Saddam Hussein talk, I just had to talk a little bit about what he talked about because he always bringing sense to the table. Imagine a commissioner of police putting forward a document to remove power from Shewak. That is how sick the PNM is. She taking a document, put she logo on top. She in charge. She have the discretion. She could protect people. She could protect citizens. And the PNM tells you, girl, we just give you a tea party and think we just renew your contract. Hear what? Give we that power. We want to put a PNM board to decide who could get firearms. All you ever hear more nonsense in your life? The PNM is turning your economy and your money into a Ponzi scheme. Forget big word, you know. Auditor General and Constitutional Authority and the right and accounts and management letter. Forget all that big talk. The PNM thief your money and tell the lady, look, cook the book. And the lady say, I not cooking. I just only cooking kitchen. So you understand what I say? The PNM thief your money. They say, oh good, that looking too big boy. I'm call that lady, hit she on WhatsApp. And tell she, we find 3.49 billion dollars. The lady watch you watch us. She say, well, well all right, well, where it is? Come and show me. They can't show she. Right? They say, just add it in and we go organize. Don't frighten. But they find an independent human being. And that's why PNM can't take independence. PNM want you dependent. PNM want to victimize you. PNM want to tell you what you have to do. PNM want to instruct you. Because independent authority means... You have to be good. And the PNM not good. The PNM sucks. The PNM not good at education. Our children suffering. The PNM not good at giving you water. You're going back to the days of living bucket. The PNM not good at crime fight. We are to dodge bullet. Now they want to take away gun from the few of we that have to protect you. Welcome, Lapa Sad, Mr. Sir. Save fire, burn that. If you are a good citizen, certificate of character, you must defend yourself against the bandits. Imagine in Cocoa Reef Powder Magazine, a man men just ride through and kill four, shoot eight. We don't even know the numbers, just bullets sparking all over the place. You know what is the irony of that? That is a PNM stronghold. That is Diego Martin. Diego Martin had Rowley, the Prime Minister. It had him but the longing acting Prime Minister in the history of the Caribbean because Rowley always outside somewhere. And it have a next no name one, but he's a PNM. It have a PNM corporation. And when you know that right there in that powder magazine, I was fighting since 1989 to build an aquatic center for the youth in that area, for children to swim, to identify talent, to earn scholarships, to move out. And John Rahal, who's Rowley good boy, Rowley chairman of the party, Rowley fella, Rowley and Renaissance with Joseph Rahal, big friends. They said, over your dead body, we're going to let you build a pool there. That land is too valuable for children to swim. That land is so valuable, but don't worry. Roberts are lawyers as much as Kamala and Freedom Law Chambers. And we fight any PNM in court right through. But had you put that sporting facility, education, homework centers, also if Kamala Pasad was the prime minister to give differently able sport camps, education, coaches, them shootout would not have taken place. The PNM leaves people 
at the mercy of bandits and then they tell you go vote for Indian all you ever hear anything making less sense we are Trinbegonian we are not Indian and African we are Trinidad and Tobago we are Christian and Hindu we are Muslim and Baptist we are Orisha and we are Char Rastafari we are Chinese we are Syrian we are Trinidad and Tobago and the time is now that each and every one of us must realize the PNM has been unmasked and we must unite so no amount of cheating no amount of control no amount of EBC friend could help them we must beat them straight down from Carnage up to Matlot down the center to Labre to Manzanilla to Mayaro the whole yellow must spread across the country now if all you find a vex tonight it's because things get a little bit more serious for me I tell all about my little daughter who is nine years old but I have a big daughter who will be 27 today her boyfriend of seven years called me at 8 35 a.m. he said uncle will you be home around lunchtime I say I'll be dipping in to eat something I'll reach home at 12 35 he said uncle I had to come and discuss something with you I say okay my brother well I hang up and my hands start to shake because I know him seven years and we don't really discuss like that if he come he come he eat a food he go we lie he come with my daughter what I realize is something happening and so said so done he came and he asked me permission to marry my firstborn beloved daughter now while the normal reaction is to clap and say yes in a country run by Rowley and the PNM I get frightened so all all you out here to get serious now because it could have grandchildren coming and if I had to have grandchildren coming our next generation cannot live and survive under this tyrannical oppressive disgusting nasty divisive PNM so I had to call on all of you now to wake up across Trinidad and Tobago spread the gospel of the UNC spread the gospel of Kamala Prasad Bissetta about your money I sat in the Senate on Monday the 29th and you must understand part of my love and respect for Kamala Prasad Bissetta is that she's a, an attorney at law and a brilliant one and a senior counsel because I came from a family of lawyers mother lawyer father lawyer two brothers that share the womb with lawyer my son is a lawyer but when I sit down in the Senate and I look across the Senate and I see a so-called PNM lawyer called Limo a dishonest lying perjurer who went in a court of foreign jurisdiction and signed an affidavit fraught with lies if all you go by the police and lie if the police stop you for speeding and you lie you could get extra ticket this man gone in Florida and lied on the place and signed that and still calls himself the Attorney General of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago the titular head of the bar but this man worse than that the man worse than a liar because we came to debate this Auditor General, sorry, I'm using big word. This old thief thing, the PNM thief all your money, and they come to organize the fix and cook the books. And call him the Dwayne Imbert, the worst minister of finance in the history of the Caribbean. The man who built stadium as an engineer and it fall down in Grenada. He built condominium in Diego Martin, it fall down. He built wall in Maraval, it fall down. He tried to get tall and he fall down. This call him Imbert. Stood up there and tried to cast aspersions on the character of the Auditor General saying she lied because his officials at the ministry didn't backdate nothing and he have documents to show the real date is April and all that man went on for about eight minutes and that Attorney General Limo sat there with his face like concrete like the obia stick it it like garlic couldn't move it and he had in his possession a letter 
from the Auditor General saying and showing it as evidence the two separate sets of accounts. In tab one, the attachment to the letter that that Limo received on April 17th showed the original accounts with 60, 61 billion, bubba billion. And in tab B, in his possession, given to him, the Auditor General gave him the fraudulent accounts backdated to January 31st, showing 64 bubba billion dollars. That Limo admitted he got the letter, he read the letter, he told the um, Auditor General, I can't help you, I done against you because I will be And he knew that what Imbat was saying was totally false and a lie. Now the parliament is sometimes described as the highest court of the land. And when an attorney goes in the court and lies, they should be disbarred, they should be removed. And Lymon knew that he hid evidence. He kept evidence away from the independent senators. He kept evidence away from the opposition. He withheld evidence from the people of Trinidad and Tobago to cover up the PNM set of old thief. Lima must go. But this is the policy of the PNM. They put the most incompetent human beings in big work. That is why 21 babies dead. Because Dial Singh is a dunce. That's why our children going to school, it are more knife and fight, because Gatsby Dolly is a dunce. The accounts getting cooked like Ponzi scheme, because the Dwen is a dunce. No money in local government, no releases to corporations to serve you, because tight pants cat woman wearing suit Paris is a dunce. The PNM is full of dunce. All the PNM could foster is a set of dance. And all you in a la Hoketa Talparo, all you fostering the biggest dance. Foster comments. We are too intelligent. We are too bright to allow the PNM to divide us, to make us vote for dance. When you go home, look in your mirror, look at your neighbor, go to the market, go in the pharmacy, drive down the road, go to school and talk to everybody and ask them, we bright or we dance? Because if we bright, the code is yellow. If we bright, we don't want Ponzi scheme. If we bright, we want more school. If we bright, we want more grants. If we bright, we want better energy sector. If we bright, we want more U.S. If we bright, we want better roads. If we bright, we want water. If we bright, we want less crime. If we bright, we want more soccer. If we bright, we want more sport. If we bright, we want more textbook. If we bright, we want more grant. If we bright, we want baby grant. If we bright, we want Kamla. We want Kamla. And I think we bright. I think we children bright. I think the country bright. I think the sun will rise bright. I think the yellow bright. I think my people bright. And when the election bell ring, we will vote UNC right across the country. God bless. Stay strong. Good night.